welcome to the latest traders van i'm late with this but it still has four days left let's talk about it we have the backup which is the reversed pistol backup mythical automatic slows the targets with ammo restore fire rate 94 capacity 20 mobility 75 the special is the anomaly concentrator special mythical electro thrower gravitation force and lifesteal fire rate 99 a capacity of 50 mobility is 55 the sniper is the activity neutralizer sniper mythical laser ricochet eight times zoom fire rate 76 capacity 10 mobility 55 and we have the ectoplasmic grenade launcher heavy mythical sticky mines disables jumps x-ray vision fire rate 77 capacity 6 mobility 50. now remember traders vans have been reworked according to developers so apparently there'll be much better weapons inside of here which also means prices have been raised so the reversed pistol and anomaly concentrator by default are legendary weapons so you can purchase this weapon which includes a full upgrade to mythical which is 470 gems that's not too bad as for the heavy that will cost you 500 gems and the sniper will cost you 700 gems just a word of advice always go onto the store and scroll across because pixagon always do these types of offers let me show you something i managed to get on my free-to-play accounts so i took a picture of it the other day and the sakura for me to complete it only cost 445 gems we know that this is currently a top sniper in Pixel Gun 3D. Why would I want to buy the activity neutralizer when I can get offers like this? So, of course, I made the big brain move and purchased it. Back on my main account, if we go to the trader's van, you can upgrade them from legendary to mythical for 105 gems. That's not a bad trade. So we're going to be purchasing both of these for today's video. Shout out to the members of the Pixel Echo channel. You guys support me every single month and I appreciate you. So the heavy weapon used to be incredibly OP back in the day. I want to see how it works on this game mode. Ah, okay. That's one of those kind of weapons. Looks like it does take out a large quantity of land. But it's sticky mines, isn't it? So sometimes it might take a little bit of time for them to destroy. It's got a pretty good fire rate though. Gotta admit that. I do like the fire rate on this weapon. I wonder if anyone else has been purchasing this. I'm also curious if you guys like to watch my videos and get my opinions on traders' vans, you know? Or you're just more interested in damage test videos. I don't know. I just like to voice my opinions anyway. Come on, stay alive, Echo. Let's give this a go. Put that over there. And over there. Everybody, most people are still alive, bro. Come on. Looks like we all want this win, doesn't it? Come on. Yes, two of them are down. I see it, bro. I got a pretty good fire rate on this. He's down two. Guy thinks he's won. Bro thought he won. Did he die? Did he die? Bro actually thought he won. That is why you gotta look around. He actually thought he won and stopped playing. It's not too bad in that game mode. I think the activity neutralizer has always been a very, very good weapon. Let's get rid of you here. I think the range on this is meant to be insane too, right? Try this. We got no modules right now, by the way. So we'll see how this performs. He okay, hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. Get him, Echo. Get him. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come back up. We're still, we're still going. <laughs> how did he not die from that, bro? Wow. Try this. Not a one-shot kill there. Hit him once. Not a one-shot kill with no modules. Kind of expected, though, to be fair. I also remember this, this heavy used to be super OP back in the day. That was a nice kill. I don't know what my guy's doing, bro. <laughs> like, he's just he's just floating. Are you good, bro? Get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Another dude. Get him. Get him, Echo. Oh, he missed. He missed. He messed up a little bit there, didn't you, boy? Take that. We're still in the lead. Just. I do like the sniper. Come on. Missed him. One more. Yes. Let's go. What's up, man? You, you like to be in my videos? That guy is still stuck in the air. This connection really that bad? So the reverse pistol requires a lot of shots. Even at mythical grave with no modules. But it's got a pretty good fire rate, which is what I like about this. That's th that didn't, still didn't kill him. I mean, I did miss a few shots, though. Try this. 
Yeet. I, I actually really like the heavy. On a small map, this is going to cause so much chaos, bro. I can already tell. That dude is still stuck. <laughs> bro, are you good? <laughs> I've seen some weird things. Usually people get stuck for like 5 or 10 seconds and that's about it. But this guy, this guy, man, he's, he's a part of the map now. He's a part of the map. Let's go. I really like this heavy. I remember it used to be super OP for, I think it was point capture. People used to use it all the time for point capture. Come on. Missed him. Trying to get a sniper kill here. Not a one-shot kill. Okay, definitely not a one-shot kill. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Much better. Much better, Echo. Not very many peeps in this lobby, though. Fake Echo. Why, bro? Just because you're getting ripped apart? Hmm? So why? Yes! Let's go! Nuke out. So I really like the special. This with modules is going to be so good. Any kind of flame for a weapon in Pixel Gun 3D, they're always underrated. Like, heavily underrated, though. One more. Got him. Wasn't as many peeps in this map that I was hoping that guy actually left. <laughs> that I was faking and dipped on out of there. Bro, like this guy is still there. Still lagging. These guys have got like no players left now. To be fair, this guy stayed in the lobby. Shout out to that guy. I actually think these weapons are pretty good. Everybody ended up leaving in the end. <laughs> 14 kills worth of players managed to back out there. But honestly, these weapons are pretty good. I got to show you this on this map, bro, because the neutralizer is absolutely cracked out, by the way. Put that down there. Let's go. A man's trying to get... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The neutralizer with modules was always going to be a good weapon to have. Come on, bro. Peek that door. Boom. Dead. Nice. Peek that door. That's a bot. You're dead. I'm going to fire this down here, bro. I'm going to fire a couple of bullets right the, right the way down there. Oh, there's always one guy... That ruins the fun in Pixel Gun 3D with the Sock Bomber. It's like the guy that's not invited to the party, then gets an invite, and then, like, everyone's like, why did you invite that guy? That's a nice kill, bro. I actually really like the sniper. I the pistol a little bit more, though. One, two. Yeah, newer modules would be pretty good. There you go. Tasty few kills there from your boy. Let's go. We, we popping off. We joined a little bit late, but we're still doing all right. Yeah, let's get him with this. A nuke down there. I love flamethrower meta. Even if people don't like it, bro, it's underrated. Close range. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. I gotta try to do a little reverso on me. Not quite gonna work there. Let's keep going. Try the sniper a little bit more here. Because the sniper is good with modules. Just not so great without them. Go with that. Fire that down there. It's gonna be a guy with a sock format. Don't let him do it. Ah. <sighs> Still didn't get that guy, man. Try this a little bit more. Hit him once. Twice. Stop spawning me over here. It's like the worst place to spawn on this map, bro. You're completely out of the gunfight when you spawn here. Try this. Two shot kill. Put that all the way up there. Guy with a sock bomber. Another dude in here. There you go. Got a new kill. He's throwing nukes. Yeah, sniper is good. I remember it being good. Just very, very pricey, isn't it? That's the problem we have. I, I mean, we've taken over in this lobby. I, I would probably avoid the pistol. Because I just don't think it's worth it. I, I think the price is just way too much, bro. Well too expensive. Oh, we did all right. I kind of enjoyed this lobby. We joined late. We took over with no problem. One more kill would be nice. Didn't quite get that kill. The, all of these weapons are really simple and easy to use. Pros and cons with the reversed pistol. Honestly, there isn't too many cons. In fact, there's a very good positive and pro with this weapon. By default, it has 20 bullets. But if you use this perfect module combination, it increases the size. I had 36 bullets at a time. So I don't typically got to reload this 
really easy to use and I was getting kills with no problem. Now, this, again, very similar to the previous one I've just talked about. It has a lot of bullets and it has a really long distance. It's one of the longest range flamethrower styled weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. So if you like small maps, you like to play close range, this is a very good one. I think the sniper is a very tricky one, especially with me recently getting the Sakura for a lot cheaper than this. It makes it really frustrating to see this at a price of 700. So that is definitely a con. Very, very expensive. As for a pro, I think it's probably one of the best ricochet weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It does have 10 bullets at a time and it does have a high fire rate. So if you really want it and you're willing to spend the 700 gems, I wouldn't say that's a bad thing, but it's just very pricey. And as for the heavy, well, this was typically a two shot kill. Used to be super OP. They did nerf it. So if you're getting this, you've got to bear in mind, it is a two-shot kill. But if you play point capture or flag capture, or you play really small maps, I do highly recommend this. So I think the pro with this is it's got a good, really, really good fire rate. I think the con with this is it's not going to be a one-shot kill. And that's my opinions. Let me know if you're getting anything in the comment section.